गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज राइट अ प्रोग्राम इन सी आर सी प्लस प्लस टू फाइंड टू इनपुट अ नंबर एंड फाइंड आर स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर इफ वी वॉन्ट टू चेक वॉट इज आर स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर फर्स्टली वी अंडरस्टैंड विच नंबर आर नोन एज आर स्ट्रॉन्ग नंबर If we know one fifty three is Armstrong number, then how we check Armstrong number? If we find the cube separately of all numbers, and after that we add all numbers, then. If the value of addition, cube addition of same is sum, then this number is known as Armstrong number. So one fifty three equal to one fifty three. So one fifty three is an Armstrong number. To find Armstrong number, how we can make a program? You understand? Then we return. Our header file that is hash include stdio dot h and hash include conio dot h. For making this program in C plus plus, we use another header file that is hash include io stream dot h and hash include conio dot h. After that, because we do this topic under Function in C. So, firstly, we create a function that is function header, and we declare a function that is data type, function name, and number of argument or parameter list. Data type or return type is int. Function name is check, and parameter is one that is int. After that, we declare the main function and open the body of main function where we return statements. Firstly, we declare two variables that is num and res having integer data type. Num is a number and res is the result. After that, we use CLR SCR function. It is used in C and C plus plus programming, and this function clears the output screen. Then we give a message that is printer enter any number. If we want to give the message in C plus plus, then we use C out enter any number. Then In C and C out, we use in C we use printf and in C plus plus we use C out statement. After that, we use scanf percent d space modifier and m percent m that is the value stored in num and in C plus plus C in num the value stored in num. After that, this is Res equal to check num. This is function calling statement, and it calls the function. Where is then this? Using this statement, we goes to the function definition, and here we return the function definition. That is data type, function name, number of parameter, data type is int, function name is check, and int m is an argument then we open the body of the function that is after that we declare two variables having integer data type r and sum and we assign zero in sum then we use while statement and in while statement we use a condition condition is that n not equal to zero r equal n mod 10 sum equal sum plus r into r into r 
n equal n divided by 10. Then we take a number that is 153 in n. 153 not equal to 0, condition true. R equal n mod 10. 153 mod 10, it returns the value 3 and store in R. In first time, R equal to 3. Sum equal to 0, then sum equal to 0 plus R into R into R that is 0 plus 3 into 3 into 3 that is 27, 27 first time store in sum then we find the mod of 150 then we find division 153 divided by 10 that is 15.3 we take only integer value that is 15 then we check 15 not equal to 0 R equal to n mod 10 we find the mod that is 5 the next time R equal to 5 and already in sum 27 is stored then 27 plus 5 into 5 into 5 that is 27 plus 125 that is 152 then we divide n by 10 that is 1 1 not equal to 0 when we find mod that is 1 152 plus 1 into 1 into 1 that is 1 that is 153 next time we find division that is 0 0 equal to 0 condition false control goes to the main function return sum in sum there is 153 153 153 store in res and 153 equal to 153 number is armstrong number so we find 153 is armstrong number we have already given the pdf of this topic and explain all the things in this program thank you class